It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomeranz. Thank you so much for joining us again. Our guest is Carrie Kasem. You hear her on radio. You've seen her on MTV Spike E. She's also the daughter of the legendary Casey Kasem, but she has done some amazing work aside from her work in entertainment. She recently came back from Haiti. Thank you so much for doing that. Tell us about your trip. Thank you for having me. Please. Well, you know, uh, when I saw what had happened uh, to Haiti, uh, I, I just said I have to go out there. There was something in me. I've always been somebody who stops at accidents or helps people or you know I've, I've done hospice care and this happened in Haiti and I said I have to go out. But Carrie you were so committed you got on a plane yourself yeah. you stayed in Miami until you could get a flight <laughs> to the Dominican and then was on a bus for 24 hours just to get into Haiti Port-au-Prince. Yes and yeah that says a lot. I actually um, and you know I was supposed to go out with a group called the Volunteer Ministers and they took four chartered planes uh, and they took uh, 400 doctors medical personnel people that could help distribute water and food they're still down there there's a hundred uh, volunteer ministers still down there so so I knew I had a place to stay once I got there. I just didn't know how I was going to get there. I, I literally got a backpack, a sleeping bag, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get to Miami. But what's stunning about your trip, and I've heard this from so many people in the celebrity community, is that once they got down there, they turned into nurses. Yeah. And that was your case. I mean, you literally, we have pictures of you mm -hmm. in medical garb. Yeah. Uh, wow. There, there was a there was the general, general hospital down there, which was uh, kind of almost a morgue you know, for the first few weeks. It was, a, it was like a morgue. And then Miami Hospital set up a tent called right. Miami Hospital. And that's where I did a lot of work. And uh, from, you know, helping with amputations, helping with a C-section, helping uh, skin grafts, and I mean, everything that you could think of. Let's talk about a baby, a real special baby. You have a picture of this baby. Yes. The baby is wrapped in gold. What is that gold? Now, they didn't have incubators down there. So what they did was they got all these frozen dinners and people that, that from the trash and the recycle, and they they created this foil around the baby so it would keep the baby warm and uh, they uh, had somebody sitting there with the baby with a, a ventilation kind of hand pumping the, the air into the baby's lungs and uh, yeah, there was a lot of that. And Talk to me about the orphanage. It's called The Future of Haiti. It has a website, thefutureofhaiti.org. That orphanage touched you. It did. Uh, the people, the volunteer ministers that I was with, there was a, a group of people that knowing there were three orphanages down there that completely collapsed and the surviving children had nowhere to go. They rounded up 130 children and they just created a place for them so that they would have food, they would have a, a place to sleep, they would be you know, sheltered, cared for. And after a few weeks, they, they found a, a building to move into and, uh, and they just started taking care of these kids. And it's turned into, which is the future of, of Haiti.org, it's turned into this beautiful orphanage. And you can actually go down, go visit uh, the orphans and whoever you bond with, you can say, hey, I, I want to adopt you, and not necessarily adopt by taking them back to the country, but you give money for that child, and you can write each other back and forth. It goes for food, it goes for medical, Carrie, education. I, I want to ask you, what did this trip do to you? We know it helped them, but what did it do for you? Um, you know, I think it, it, it definitely, you come, out, you, you come out the other end <laughs> with a different perspective on the world, and just grateful for what you have. No doubt. Yeah. You are continuing your mission to help the people of Haiti. I can see you're tearing up, and I, I know. feel it. It's like, no, I feel it. It was it as such well. an incredible thing. You right. know, you just you work, you work, you work. You see all these people that need help, and you just keep going and going, and then you break down at the end of the day, right. and you just cry. But you're not done helping the people of Haiti. You are promoting these T-shirts. Yes. Peace, love Haiti. You're wearing one right now. How can we buy these? Um, you just go to causeoverlife.org. Every single sense. Every single cent goes to uh, the volunteer ministers. Great. It's such a great organization. Carrie, thank you so much for joining us. Thank we you. appreciate it. My name is Brad Palmer. It's back to HLN. You made a big move, going right when everyone went left, followed a big dream with no guarantees, and found big opportunity even in tough times. They may call your business small, but you've never done bigger things. Charter Business offers customized internet, telephone, and TV solutions to power your success. Get more done with speeds up to 75 megs, the fastest ever available from Charter Business High-Speed Internet.